Okay, uh, next on the agenda is uh, Resolution 179-2016, Resolution Authorizing an Amendment to the Contract with New Jersey American Water. Um, over the past several weeks, uh, Senator Troy Singleton, myself, and New Jersey American Water, have been working very, very closely together to come up with an agreement with New Jersey American Water. Uh, essentially, it's going to cap the amount of money that will be due to New Jersey American Water. Um, Mr. Singleton, I, I can't thank you enough for this, this great effort. And I'd like to invite you up to the microphone for any comments you would like to have on this. Mayor, if you'll forgive me, I'm going to just turn to your oh, absolutely. Uh, shared decision and challenge. Mayor Garland, members of the council, uh, first and foremost, uh, citizens of uh, here in Morristown, I think uh, what the mayor and I have tried to accomplish for New Jersey American is something that I think is emblematic of what our democracy is actually all about. There is no partisanship when it comes to clean water. And I think the folks of this community recognize that probably more so than anyone else. Um, the mayor, when he reached out to me, when we had this conversation about how to address this situation with the water piece in Morristown, recognized that there's a lot of pieces to this. The one thing that he said to me, the one thing that I shared, because it was brought to me by also members of the community, so many of whom are here today, um, who talked to me about this, is that we have to find a way to control the cost that is the water price that is associated with Jersey American. I want to thank the mayor for his leadership in working with me and trying to accomplish that. I underscore this nature of uh, bipartisanship in this regard because elections happen. I've been known to be in one or two in my life, elections happen. But what is more important about government is actually getting things done. And I think that is what we're here to talk about today, moving forward in such a manner so that the residents of this community will not pay more for water. Um, that, I think, is critically important. I think the innovations that this council is, is looking at, I heard it said on a bipartisan basis, I think are important to help us move beyond this chapter of Morristown's history and make sure we can move forward in a positive manner. The situation with New Jersey American on the ground itself, um, I think the, the mayor is being a bit humble, and I, but I will speak very plainly. If all goes according to the deal that we have worked out collaboratively, it would save Morristown in the neighborhood of about a million dollars. That is not a uh, small change in any neck of the woods. A million dollars of which that was paid the year before will be paid less from the township residents of Morristown uh, for their water. So, Mayor, I want to thank you once again. Uh, for your work in this effort. I, I know it was not easy. It was very arduous to get us to this point. Um, but I thank you for your partnership in, in, in making that happen. And to the residents of this community who brought this to everyone's attention and raised the volume on this issue, thank you. Because, again, that is the, the better angels of our democracy when our citizens uh, stand up and say they want change and your elected officials bring you that change. So thank you very much for doing that. Thank you very much, Mayor Garber, and the members of this council uh, for your partnership in, in getting that done. Mr. Mayor, have you had any questions or your Mr. comments? Mr. I just would like to thank you very much. And I think it's, it's been a pleasure to work with you, and I look forward to working with you more in the future. Thank you. Um, at, at this point, I'm going to ask Mr. Drolls to just go over some of the finer details on this, and uh, Tom can also weigh in on some of the financial benefits. The essence of it is very simple. Uh, when we met with Jersey American, uh, they expressed to us uh, their awareness of uh, what we're dealing with in Morristown uh, on our water supply uh, system, the upgrades that we're undertaking, uh, the money that we're spending, quite frankly, to see to it, um, and as well, our, our existing form of contract with Jersey American, the general weekly service agreement, and uh, our ability to uh, provide water that we buy from Jersey American in a manner that's most cost efficient. Uh, Jersey American realized that in 2015, uh, we spent uh, a fair amount of money on, on, on a, on a short-term basis, on, more unexpectedly, uh, given the uh, restrictions that were placed on our use of well 79. Um, they were closed, we bought more water from Jersey American, and Jersey American realizes that we're buying more water from them in 2016. So what they tried to help us accomplish is a limit on the amount of money that we're going to spend for Jersey American water through the end of 2016. The form of the agreement remains the same. We can convert uh, to, to another form, but 
under the existing agreement, um, it will save us uh, slightly more than a million dollars we have to pay through the end of the year for the water that we expect conservatively to purchase from Jersey American. And we, we, uh, we're very grateful for the offer that they made, um, and we're very eager to implement it so that we can pass the savings along to the town. And that's essentially it. May I ask a question? Um, um, actually, we get comments after the public. Okay. What resolutions? So, at this point, I'm going to open up the floor for public comment and questions on this uh, resolution. Michael Babcock, 189 Island Avenue. I, I got to be honest with you, I haven't talked about the New Jersey American contract for the last two years. So I'm disappointed it's taking this long for someone to actually go reach out to them just to ask for help. I mean, we've been bleeding, we saved $8 on taxes one year, we're bleeding millions of dollars out the other end. Why couldn't we have jumped at this time machine that we, we were offering up a couple weeks ago and done this five years ago? Maybe we wouldn't be in the situation right now. Thank you. Katie Angeline, 233 Hatchman Road. I just want to make sure we thank Troy Singleton for his help in getting this new um, contract. And I'd like to thank all the residents who have gotten involved with our water <coughs> issues. If it weren't for your support, this contract with New Jersey American may have never changed. In turn, saving taxpayers millions of dollars. Don't tell anyone, don't let anyone tell you that one person can't make a difference. It simply isn't true. I personally would like to acknowledge and thank each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. We did reach out and we did make a difference and we're very happy to pursue, pursue with this. Um, you know, this is a very complicated arrangement with New Jersey American Water. Um, you know, Senator Singleton and New Jersey American Water, myself, we're going around and around. We have to get public utilities involved with this. Uh, this is a one-time thing. Uh, so I, I really can't thank Senator Singleton enough. Um, and New Jersey American Water, they're very good stewards and they're really doing us a, a, a good service. Um, so with that, I will open it up to council members. Yeah, um, question. I learned that we were in the middle, well, not in the middle, I learned that we were pursuing conversations with New Jersey American Water about this contract after I read an article in, online on NewJersey.com. My question is, why was the council aware that you and I understand Miami were involved in those conversations with New Jersey American Water? What's the question? Why you're, you're, you're negotiating, I've been, ad, I've been advocating for a conversation with New Jersey American Water to happen for months. Uh, yeah, we have, we have a Okay, and my question is, why didn't council know that was happening? I read about it in a newspaper, which caused me to well, say Well, I didn't read, we did learn about it when it happened. Jersey Excuse American me? made us a very generous offer. We accepted it and we passed it on to you. Okay, what we've done. why didn't you tell council that you were, why didn't you, maybe council did know, I didn't know, maybe, why wasn't council aware that we were, this would have been a welcome development to this town. Everyone would have welcomed that. Why wasn't council informed that we were negotiating? Rest assured, rest assured, Jersey American made us a very generous offer. Jersey That's American, not what I'm asking, Mr. Jersey, Ellis. I'm not, I'm, I'll finish my answer, thank you. Jersey American made us a very generous offer. We've explored with them the possibilities of doing other things under the GMS contract. They know there's nothing else that can be done. They made us a very generous offer, and our response to their generous offer was, Thank you, do more. No, that was not our response. Our response was, thank you for your very generous offer. You're saving us a lot of money this year. We look forward to working with you again next year. I'm not sure which question you're answering because the question I am asking is, why didn't someone from this township notify council that someone, some council members that this township was acting on behalf of council and conducting business? I didn't know that we were in the middle of it. We had the I's dotted and the T's crossed. We brought it to council for the resolution to be approved. So you don't like the idea? No, that's not it at all. Okay, I'm, I'm all right, just to make sure. So you no, no. do believe that this is very good. So you're you're having an issue with the process in which you think this was. I have. I think this is this is great. This is something that I've been advocating for for a while. This was something that I've been asking for months. 
people up here have been questioning that it was even this, possible. This discount on the price of water through Canada 2016? You've never said that. Excuse me? You've never said, I, go to Jersey American and get a count of $1.5 million me. for the cost of water through the end that of is not, That is not true. I have documentation that I sent to Scott and I sent to Tom saying, just ask. This is, this is not a contract. Problems. This is just an amendment. This is a one-time amendment to exactly. the contract. That's it. Exactly. We cannot change our contract. We have, we have we been actually, the past couple years, looking into changing the contract, doing different things. It's not, it's not something new. We've, we've gone at, Tom's gone down that route. We've done it several times. It's because of where we are and, and, and how the situation is. We went back to, I'm assuming you went back to them and asked them again to Tom. Were you with Tom? No. What, what I believe I was asking before was that the commodity. Yeah, the commodity. This is not a commodity. That's right. No, Their know that. options are limited in that regard. They know that. They know that we cannot convert. Nobody was suggesting that we convert to the money. They know that. They acknowledge that. So, that is an so inaccurate question. Of what I've been asking, what you've been asking. Commodity. Commodity demand has been raised for a variety of reasons because it's relevant to this conversation. It reflects the fact that there's a variance in prices that New Jersey American Water charges that we were paying the top rate. It reflects the fact that the reason why we were paying that top rate was because we couldn't meet peak demand. And we couldn't meet to peak demand because our infrastructure had fallen into disrepair due to neglect and that's that's all that's all very good, but you know, we're discussing this or this this resolution right now. Do you want to take do you want to take the one point one million or no? Simple as that. I do. I just want to know why so council is conducting this business in the dark. Our residents should know what is happening. I'm glad that it, is, that it has evolved this way. It's a matter of process. Well, and it was a process, process that, that well. the Senator Singleton and I, we went down this road, we negotiated this, we talked with New Jersey American Water. It's my job as mayor to lead this council and to lead this community into things that are beneficial for that. I don't have to sit here and say, well, you know, I brought it to you in the the appropriate manner and the appropriate time for your appropriate vote and your input. This job is to make sure that all council members know what's happening on this council. You and Manny apparently knew. I didn't know. Whose job is it well, to advise council? Is actually we happening? can't have three, We cannot have. We can't have a majority involved with this. This was something that I wasn't asking to be. I, I'm wondering why I wasn't involved since it was something that I had been advocating for. I had not heard any ideas coming from anybody up here. And I think there were more involved in Everywhere is that they can't even move on. Yeah, I, I agree. Thank, I agree. You, for that. Yes, no, thank, thank you. you for that direction. Yeah. yeah. So do we have a motion to adopt, adopt resolution 179-2007? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Mr. Gordon. Oh, Mr. Gordon. Uh, he might say yes. I'll say it. I'll say it's force. Mr. Mayor. Force. All righty. 